live wire that will do whatever we say, which is why they love her. I think that's a setup. And I think they would have done Carolyn dirty. And I think if it's kisses and all this other stuff, yeah, maybe Carolyn wasn't feeling her. And she's like, oh, I love you. I love you. But again, like when you kiss someone and every, you know, like that's even like petting someone, touching someone's hair. It's like, this yeah, it's is now, good. it's not good. And I believe Look, Carolyn wants nothing to do. She goes to BravoCon. I believe, like, if this is a lawsuit, she'll never even go to BravoCon again. She doesn't care. Like, I believe, if, if it, let me put it this way. If it were me, I would be suing the network. I, I would. I would 100% be spending my day today suing the network. That's just me. That is just me. If that is what happened, that is how I would. I go to big picture life. That's why I think people like listening to this. I don't believe these are real people. I believe in producer involvement in a corporation. And that's how decisions are made. That's where I am. That's where my mind goes. You know, the business. And so if it was, I believe Carolyn was upset. But I mean, now we learned there's only three hours, five hours left, whatever it was, 20. I don't know. You mean to tell me there's not a lawyer that said, get on up. You have to get out of there. You, you have to literally get out of there. That's the step one. Like if you killed someone, Sarah, you would say, what do I do? Your lawyer would say, lock the doors Two, do not speak. Like you shut the hell up and listen when you're involved in a lawsuit or you've done something bad. So I think if you have a litigious plan in your mind, listen, this could all be, I could be watching too many things, but this is how my mind thinks. And I'm a lawyer. If it were me, I would say, hey, lawyer, I'm suing Bravo. This is what happened. And the, I, the lawyer would say, you need to remove yourself immediately. Step one is do not speak to anyone. Remove yourself. Because otherwise, you're going to say, I stayed for five hours. Well, that's a little weird. That's a okay, little weird. Don't you think in light of everything that's gone down? Sorry. With me, no, no. I, I mean, I, I love your thoughts. I mean, I just wonder in light of everything that's gone down with Nene Leaks, don't you think there's like even new clauses and harder things in those contracts about you can't sue us? I mean, you know, I mean, because like lots of times, right, with various production things, you sign away rights to your image, to all these things like, and you can, there are literally contracts, you know, this, you're an attorney out there where the, the language will say you cannot sue us for defamation or whatever. You know what I mean? Now, to your point, you can sue somebody at any time for anything. And there are exceptions, but I'm like, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Can she I mean, sue? I think there's like whole new contracts that are going to make it like them not liable. Like maybe she could sue Brandy. I mean, well, Brandy has no money, so I don't think we're suing her. No offense. Um, to your point, you and I have signed many reality TV contracts. You and I have been on many reality TV shows. They're very harsh, but yeah, I mean, I think like, to be honest with you, why why is Kate Goslin hasn't sued the Fox Network? She was on Fox Special Forces. I have somebody coming up from that show and she dived off backwards and her neck is like basically, it's not broken, but she has real problems. And yeah, you sign your life away that you're assuming the risk and everything. But I think it's, I think when something happens, I mean, how specific is the contract? Does it say like if someone touches you? Uh, I mean, there's just, I think, I think you are right. But I think then when something so egregious happens, yeah, it's like maybe. you can sue. And then are we going to court over this? I mean, or is this going to be settled? Like, I didn't think Nini had a case. I shouldn't have $20 million through a settlement. I think that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Well, if it someone's... is not settled, supposedly, right? But it's still, they're supposedly still in some form of uh, mediation. I mean, listen, if someone's going to settle, they'll settle for, you know, $900,000 for $1.1 million. No one is settling for $20 million. You'll go to the damn trial and you'll lose and you still probably won't have to pay more than $20 million. Do you know what I'm saying? Like well, nothing is settling for that. Negotiating now, by the way, because because they negotiated Me? that, yeah, what do you think is still to be negotiated? Because, you know, they-, they I mean, they who's even it. saying that? I just don't give it any credit. I'm sorry, she I don't. She's the, one, she's the one that did an interview and said she still- I'm sure she did. Bravo. I'm because sure she not, did. You're not buying it? I'm not buying it. That's just me. I'm sorry, I don't buy it. I think there's you, no- You think no money? I, I don't think there's any money. I think she spent a lot of money. And then she's like, why am I still spending? Like, if you sue someone, it's going to cost a lot of money unless you find someone to take a contingent. And someone will take these cases contingent if there is money. Tom Girardi took Aaron Brockovich contingent because he saw money. 
I've sued many people. I've sued people and I've had lawyers contingent. That is when, when someone says yes to me and it's contingent, that's when I'm an animal because now I know I have a case because I am not paying you a dime unless you recover, you get a third. I've gone to other lawyers and they're like, we know you're upset, sweetie. We're not taking this contingent and we don't even recommend that you give us money because you're going to lose the case. Great, I'm not suing you. I only sue when I can win. So I personally believe that Nini was just spending money like you're two hundred thousand dollars in 400 and you're like i can't keep this going if i'm not gonna win that's my opinion you keep it going if you have no choice and if you're gonna win or if you're like erica jane where everyone's suing you oh god i have a lot to say today but i really do maybe this is all for not maybe she didn't try to kiss her but kissing to me that's what happens It's A, Brandy will never work with these people again at NBC. And B, I would wonder if Carolyn's going to do anything. And if she is, are we ever going to hear about it? Or is that just going to be hush hush? And, you know, maybe it's not about Dina either. So maybe that's all. I mean, they're two separate things. The Dina thing, I think she was set up. Maybe it's none of the above. Like, we'll have to find out and you guys might know. But I think even if none of this is true, by the time you hear this, it doesn't matter because we just did some analysis, which is very interesting. (laughs) <laughs> it is, it, it is. that those um, are my feelings this one i had a lot to say i this is the stuff i love to weigh in on i don't love the like whitney is mad at like i i can't deal with the fake bullshit and like these fake headlines of like you know this person's yeah. coming back okay mary cosby's not coming like you know it's all those fake blogger headlines if you guys get off on that and you want to read all this fake shit go ahead but this rony thing has a lot of truth to it in that, I mean, when I read it, I was like, is someone going to call me and think I leaked this? Like when I think that, that's when it's like, okay, this is what we're talking about because it is really close to the actual truth of what's going on. And who knows? I mean, is anyone, you're excited for the Roni reboot? I don't know if I'm excited for either Roni. I'll, I, I am, I am. I'll, I'll get there, I guess. I mean, I just saw too that season, was is it season 15 of RHOA has wrapped? And, you know, all the same women are back. I think there's one new woman, but Drew, um, Sonia, all of them are back, you know. Um, Cynthia's and I saw, a friend. Cynthia's a friend. I saw a comment from someone that just said, oh, I'm not even like uh, RHOP just, you know, surpassed this show. And and I'm just not even, I don't even care. And I thought, <sighs> We're getting there with RHOA. I don't care. I do feel like RHOP, even though I know you're not wild about this season. I just do feel like it's a way better show now. I don't know. I mean, the queens of RHOA for me are just not on there, except for Kenya. I do. I, and I do love Marlo. But to me, Marlo was at her best when Nini was the sidekick. And honestly, I miss the Kim Zolciak days. Like, I don't know. I just, those Kim were the Kim and Nini, those were the great days. I they mean, were. look, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a try. Kenya is my MVP, honestly, from the show. I know she is class. She is amazing. I mean, out of the people that are there now, Adrian was so good. 